<laughs> this is intense. Woo. Come on, guys. wonder what it's like to photograph a sled dog race event? Oh, ho, ho, you are in luck. In this video, I'm going to take you along with me on a day at a sled dog race. We're going to go on a sled ride. Yeah. Um, we're going to, we're going to be at the start line. We're going to be down on the trail where I am now. Uh, We'll, I'll show you still images. We'll get some video footage. It's gonna be super cool. And next time you get a chance to photograph a sled dog race, you'll have an idea of what it's like. The Colorado Mountain Mushers have invited me back for the third year to photograph the Mount Massive race event here in beautiful Leadville, Colorado. Wow, we have got some nice conditions here today. I have photographed the start line, finish line, on the trail, from the trail. I've taken thousands and thousands of pictures here at the sled dog races over the years. And I'm super excited to bring you along with me this year. And of course, don't forget to paw that subscribe button and also maybe paw that thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Yeah! Let's talk a little bit about gear considerations. I have got my GoPro, I've got my iPhone, and of course I have my Sony camera. Right now I have the 70 to 200 lens on because I'm on the side of the trail and I want to stay back so that I don't distract the dogs and I want to be able to zoom in on some of the expressions. So when I'm on the trail side or at the start or finish line, I choose the 70 to 200 or a longer zoom lens for sure. Now I want a little bit wider angle to go on the sled because I want to be able to get the sled and the dogs and the scenery. So I choose the 24 mil and you can really use any wide angle. 24 was perfect really, um, but you could go wider and get a lot more of the cool mountains here. Uh, so that's a consideration if you are able to go on a sled ride, I would definitely use a little bit wider angle. You do have to hold on. So that's the other advantage <laughs> to using a small lens. When you get dumped off the side, you don't have a really giant lens to fish out of the snow. So there you go. Now, other gear to consider would be filters and tripod. I'm not a big tripod person. I like to move around a lot, but if you're trying to get some smooth footage or you wanna set up in the same spot, I would definitely suggest a tripod, especially if the only place you can set up at a sled dog race is at the start or finish line. Um, filters might be nice out here too. I don't use a lot of filters, but it might be nice to have maybe a graduated neutral density for the larger shots where you're gonna get a lot of sky. Oh, oh, my ride's coming. Oh, I better get back down the trail. Here comes my ride. Ah, don't leave without me, Bill. Hello. <laughs> Another suggestion would be change up locations. You might be able to hitch a ride, which I did with the, um, the trail groomer, and he was able to bring me further down the trail, which is awesome to get a different perspective. Sometimes all you have to do is ask and they'll bring you on down here. Um, so the one thing about this trail is there's wide open meadows and then there's forest and just amazing mountain vistas everywhere. So I definitely suggest if you're able to change up your locations at a sled dog event, to try it. A few options are the start and finish line, of course, uh, over at the trucks when they're getting ready. Sometimes there's a little tower. We're at this golf course here and there's a tower near the start line. Um, and of course, back into the forest as much as you can. Change up locations, it's kind of fun. How about camera settings? Oof, this is a tough one. We have a nice bright day today and I like to keep my ISO as low as possible. I think I've got it on about 400 right now because I was, when I was on my sled team, <laughs> when I went through, I was in the forest and then in the meadows, in the forest and the meadows. Um, so I thought 400 would be good. And I usually, 
am a proponent for all manual settings, but I also knew going through all of that and hanging onto the sled and paying attention to everything, I wouldn't have time to switch back and forth. Um, so I put it on aperture priority. I wanted to make sure I got at least like uh, F9 and then let the um, camera pick the shutter speed. Um, you could do it opposite if you thought, okay, I want to make sure I freeze the action um, and then sh set your shutter speed and let the camera choose the aperture. Uh, so in this particular setting, I would definitely let your camera decide some of those. And honestly, even if you had it on full auto, no judgment. Of course, I will walk you through some of the settings on my final images when I get back to the computer and I'll tell you where I ended up with some of the settings. Let's take a look at the settings I actually did use. I have Lightroom open here with a bunch of the images I took at the event. I have gone through and picked my favorites and only have edited a few of them. But I wanted to take a look at my metadata here at the top. You can see how in Lightroom you can just click metadata and see what ISO aperture shutter speed focal length you are at. Looks like I was actually on ISO 250. All right, so noted. And I only fluctuated between F10 and F5.6 aperture and spent a lot of time at 7.1. So that is probably where I was on the actual sled during that time on aperture priorities. Kept it at 7.1 and let the camera choose the shutter speed because you can see the shutter speeds all over in here between 100. Uh, 640th of a second and one five thousandths of a second. Because I'm photographing a lot of action, I liked it to be a little faster. Now you'll see, I'm gonna just make that smaller. You will see some of these look a little underexposed. When I'm photographing out in this bright snow, I'd rather have it a little bit underexposed and I can brighten up the shadows. Once your highlights are overexposed, there's no information there to bring back. So you definitely want to underexpose it just a little bit if you can. Yep. So there we go. That's just a quick overview. So what do you think? Have you ever been to a sled dog event? Oh, I love to hear about it. Uh, it's pretty rare. Not a lot of people in the world get a chance to come to a place like this. Uh, there's not a lot of places with the perfect conditions. So tell me in the comments if you ever been to a sled dog race. I'd love to know. Mark has invited me out on the dog team, which he's hooking up right now. We're going to go eight miles up into the trail of the forest. Um, so I've got everything ready to go. I forgot a strap for this, so I'm using the one from my tool bag. So what are you going to do? So we're getting all ready to go. That's the team that I'll be riding with. And I'll definitely get a bunch of footage when we're back in the meadow and in the mountains and in the forest. So excited. <laughs> All right, we're all geared up and ready to go, and uh, this should be super fun. Two, one. The trail is really soft. Um, Oof. So we've been dumped a couple times and the dogs, it's really narrow. They want to go off trail. All right, back on the sled. Here we go. Woo. Got a corner. This is intense. Woo. Okay, come on guys. That should be the hard part. Ooh, okay. All right. Wow. G. G. No. Huh? Oh. Monty. <laughs> 
We want to go that way. No. Hey guys, let's go. Cut. through right and uh, the trail's a lot wider yeah. the dogs are liking it <laughs> I think we've only been jumped what three times not too bad maybe four maybe four okay one of them was to avoid a tree so that's good <laughs> Seven miles an hour. 16 miles an hour yeah Whew. moving average is 9.1 no kidding wow we're going along a lot faster than I expected Okay. Getting close. <laughs> Come on guys. Woo. Let's go. Thank you so much for taking me on the big adventure yesterday. You're more than welcome. <laughs> um, Mark is the president of the Colorado Mountain Mushers and invited me up this year. Again, thank you. You're, you're welcome. Um, our ride yesterday was uh, adventure. Yeah, because you, you never know what you're going to run into when you're um, out on the uh, trail and all that. So overall, it's just for me, it's a lot of just be calm, you know, just float and go with the flow <laughs> I guess is probably the easiest way to kind of describe it and don't get too panicked and all that you know <laughs> we ended up having a couple little places where we kind of got off the trail and tipped over a little bit but um it's actually kind of nice having you there that way you could yeah. actually help me out <laughs> I learned some things so <laughs> yeah so you thought it was a pretty good run though overall yeah. it was a really good run um you know you know and we kind of knew that that one section of trail was going to be a little iffy to begin with yeah. so uh it was kind of nice that you know that I ran it first yeah. And then made the decision that it probably for everybody else doing the race, you know, would just um, not, um, you know, have to run into the same issues. So we kind of just eliminated it. And, yeah. You know. Well, and you bet, how long have you been racing? How many years? Uh, 28. Okay, so I was in good hands. <laughs> I was totally safe with Mark. So, and yeah. we got up to a top speed of 16 miles an hour, didn't we? Yeah, that's what that the GPS amazing. said. Yeah, and almost eight miles. I, I had a blast. Yeah. I had a big blast. You're about to go out on your second run. Yeah. And you're taking another passenger. I'll get some images of you from the sidelines this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, before we go, what are the names of the dogs that were on our team yesterday? Okay, so up in lead i had uh, monty and smith uh -huh. then i had java penny willow leonard loki and harmony Aww. and they were all fantastic yeah yay thank you so much you're welcome all right. oh 
I hope you've had fun following along with me here at the Colorado Mountain Mushers Mount Massive Sled Dog Race in Leadville, Colorado. It's been super fun to share it with you. I have had a lot of adventures, uh, as you saw in the footage. <laughs> um, so it's been super cool to share this with you and uh, stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, no, those ones were mine.